is a collar that can handle three dogs. It's a Garmin Tritronics. We originally, we've been with Tritronics for 30 years with our gun dogs. And we, um, Tritronics sold out to Garmin. So this is a fantastic thing. It goes onto a belt. I don't wear a belt. So I put it around my neck or in my pocket. Um, so we use this when we are upland bird hunting with our dogs, but I also use it when we're on our walks with our dogs, um, specifically because we have a lot of, far, um, we live on about 50 acres of prairie. I can kind of show you with ponds and woods. And we use a lot of this for training, but we have a lot of animals. We have um, coyotes. We don't have wolves quite down this far in Minnesota, uh, but we do have skunks and badgers and things I really don't want my dogs to get into. So I always have the collar on them. So I'm gonna show you what the collars look like on the dogs. Okay, so on our dogs, I use the same color. So this is on Solo, so she's black. I use the same color on the dog every single time. So that because of my muscle memory on this, I gotta make sure I'm buzzing or recalling the correct dog. So it sits on their neck really nicely. See that, like that? Sorry, my other dog's bumping me. And so the, um, if it blinks red, that means the battery is about dead. So that's just a rechargeable battery. Uh, it's got a really nice um, collar here. We have kind of smaller quarter British labs, so they do that. And then on my younger dog, I always use blue. And see, she's got, I usually never have a second collar on, but I forgot to take hers off when, before we left. But really nice. Oh, I, your purse is on. So, and then I just, the beeper part needs to go on their vocal cords down there. But it works really nice. I'll show you how it works here. So we don't have real rangy dogs. Okay, let's walk guys. Come in, let's walk. So I'll get her out ahead. See, in these willows, I think a coyote got a deer. There's a bunch of dead parts back in there, so she keeps going back there. And I keep telling her no, but instead of telling her no, she's just gonna go back there like I don't want her to. So I'll just buzz her back. See, recall. I don't have to say a word. She comes right back to me. And that is not a shock. That is just a buzz. It's a warning for them that they need to come back. If they don't come back, then they get the the little shock and you can I can show you on here on the there's continuous momentary vibrate and tone the tone is the sound so if you want to trade into the sound and the vibrate is the is the buzzing um, and then this also has a bark if you have a barking dog it has the option of um, learning how to control a barking dog so anyway, one of my number one things that when I work with dogs is we demand um, that they recall correctly. That's, we start training them at, oh my gosh, they, it's probably, they're too dumb when they're little until they're about four months, maybe five months, then we will get them so that they're, um, Re being recall trained and so I put these collars on them every walk we take because I never know what we're going to run into um, on our walks but um, and the battery lasts a really long time we can pheasant hunt in South Dakota come on Sammy we can pheasant hunt in South Dakota for probably the entire day and we might not even need to recharge it the next day we always recharge them though just to make sure we have a full battery. Now I know the new Garmin's also have GPS. Um, so if you have a dog that is extremely rangy, like in some of the setters that just are really rangy dogs, um, I'd maybe recommend having the GPS on them. Like I said, oh, she's going after the dead parts. See, I'll show you how this works. Sammy, no, drop it. See? Perfect. She did exactly what I should. Good job, Sammy. Good job. She did exactly what she's trained to do. Dropped the deer leg. Oh, no, we got the other one going. So 
so I just flip it to black and buzz her. She's our older dog, so she can't get away from us real far. But anyway, so like I said, I recommend the GPS collar if you have very rangy dogs. I might actually try the GPS collar because there are times when we are in South Dakota and we are in corn over the top of my head and I'm short and can't see a thing. And it might be a little bit of an extra safety precaution to have that um, GPS built into the collar. So I will link these collars that we use from, I think we bought them off of Amazon. Um, give them a try. They're actually a really nice collar.